What's up, y'all? Hey, man, we're back. New episode. I know it's a little late. I stuck on a mountain. It's all my fault. I got down back off that mountain as fast as I could. I'm back in the bush. <laughs> back in the bush where he belongs. Back. Exactly. We're here for a brand new episode. Hey, don't forget to check us out. We're on the iTunes. You just type in, uh, go to iTunes, you type in Two in the Bush, a podcast. Two in the Bush, yeah, something like that. Just scroll past a few others. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be some bullshit. I think someone else tried to start a Two in the Bush podcast and gave up after like four episodes. Yeah, fuck so them. They're weak. We're the real. Yeah. If you're them. listening, real fuck deal. you. You see the logo. It's a fucking bush, a green bush. Four set of eyeballs in there, or four eyeballs, two sets. Yeah, two sets four. for a total of four. Four eyes in total. <laughs> go to that one. Hell, you can go to YouTube. You type in two in the bush. I believe we're still on there, too. Yes, we are. Go on to the YouTube. Hell, you go to Facebook. Hey, if you want to keep up to date on everything going on in the bush, this is what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You got to go to Facebook. That's where it's at. Facebook.com forward slash two in the bush pod. That's T W O. And that's going to keep you up to date. You can go to Instagram. Um, I'm not sure how you find shit on Instagram. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that before we started recording. That's my bad. You you type two in the bush pod, just like Facebook, and you're going to see that fucking bush with the four eyes in total, two sets. (laughs) You're going to click on that one. Um, Fuck, if you don't want to fuck with that uh, iTunes... You just go to Podbean, two in the bush, pod.podbean.com. It's going to take you right to all of our episodes. Um, what else? What's that tweeter at? That tweeter, you can tweet us at two in the bush pod, and that's T W O, two. Um, yeah, and you can also, hey, you know what? If all this is a little bit too forward for you, a little bit too progressive, and you prefer to stick to the old email, you can find us on Gmail. We're the number two. In the bush pod at gmail.com. So that's two in the bush pod at gmail.com. You got it. And you can also, hey, you want to mail us something in the snail mail? Fuck, you can do that too. Kelsey, what's your what's your address? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, I was really afraid you were going to just have my address ready and you were just going to read off. You can mail us at <laughs> and just start saying I my do, address. I do have it, but I'm not a mail. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you fucking killed. If you're not on no, this actually, show. <laughs> here it is. I'm trying to get me fucking killed. I'll give up. No, no, no. Don't this. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> we'll get a P.O. box or something one day. Nope. Um, fuck that. No. Okay. So uh, how was your weekend, man? Man, you know, it was all right. I worked. Um, so that was a Ooh. lot of my weekend. But the nice thing about this new job that doesn't demand all my time is that I can also do other things even when I have to work. Um, so yeah, I hung out with some friends on Friday and Saturday night, maybe even Sunday. Hell, I don't know. It's all blur. I did a shit ton of drugs, got just fucked up. Well, man, I'm jealous. That sounds awesome. (laughs) I, uh, I drove about 16 hours on, uh, what day was that? Thursday? Yeah. I was, oh fuck was that Thursday that might have been Friday I think that was Friday Whatever. Hours. one of these in days a vehicle. and a car yeah Ooh, a motor God. a uh, motor carriage um this is <laughs> a shitty drive man I, I swear to God you drive down I-80 through uh this fucking bush that we live in and then you go Ooh. to that next bush bunch of bullshit now when you get into Colorado and you uh at mm-hmm. first you're like this is a bunch of bullshit there ain't nothing going on here Mm-hmm. And then you go, and then you're go, you going a little deeper. You're like, okay, not too bad. You got you start seeing um, mountains and uh, peaks and valleys and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I went to, I went to old uh, Colorado for the weekend. Mm-hmm. Colorado. Did you suffer from like feeling ill due to the altitude change? No, there's there's a few people complaining about that, and I didn't didn't affect me in the at all. I didn't feel anything. Nice. I felt better, in, in fact. I think huh. that thin air is better for me. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Um, <clears throat> went up there for a wedding. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, how do you um, feel about weddings? You know, I think it... 
I have a lot of feelings about weddings, but ultimately, I think it boils down to the people who are getting married. If it's truly what they want, and it'll make them happy, and they want to commit to each other for the rest of their lives in that way, then hell yeah, I'm all for it. Let's celebrate your love and your union. Um, well, let me, let me preface It must be this. nice to be capable of that. Indeed. Um, <laughs> let me preface a few things here. One, beautiful ceremony, beautiful couple, don't know them. Uh, they looked great. They seem to be very much in love. It was perfect. Um, but let's, let's go to my, my story. Um, <laughs> enough about them. Well, th- we can connect it to first off, which I, I found interesting was, um, prior to being, inter- being introduced to this, uh, it's a long drag. <laughs> that you religiously comment on it every time i it's just it's it's so intimate it's so it's way it's deep in my ear is let me ask you this is there any, is there any other person that you went up to and just taking a drag right up into their ear i think i'm the only one unless you're in the you're into that well hey first of all i like what i like well, I'm not Second criticizing you. No. <laughs> I listen. You are the only person, so you should feel pretty special, Bush buddy. I do. I'm just saying it's uh, and our <laughs> listeners, I suppose, are also. The cat. I don't think um, it ever shows up on the recording. Like any time that I like go back and listen to this to edit it, you can't hear me taking the drag. You just hear you commenting on it every time. <laughs> I feel like you're removing it, and now you're no, making I'm not. yourself crazy. I wish I was that skilled. Actually, I would be able to. Never mind. I know how, but I don't do it. I keep thinking maybe it'll show up one of these times. You'll be able to hear it, but it has yet to. I mean, guys, if you can hear Kelsey sucking on this robot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what a- it's not. it's not your business what I do for pleasure. Whatever. I'm just saying, if you can hear it, let us know. I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, hey, apparently she's not going to remove it because she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> How I, don't shit? Really, I don't really care. It's just it's right up in my ear. And I'm like, ooh, what the, what's going on there? They are definitely going to hear that. That was, that's, that was it's fucking obnoxious. I see I got, the fucking I I see the sound right. wave. <laughs> Are you okay after that one? <laughs> yeah. I got okay. right by the mic for that. Oh, I know. I, I wish I still had... <laughs> oh, I, trust I, me. I, I'm aware. I wish I still had my uh, my hookah. I'd bring that in here in this fucking... <gasps> that would be hardcore. Suck on that thing. But I got rid of that a couple few years ago. So Yeah. Oh, whatever. Anyways, where was I going? <laughs> oh, yeah. This wedding. Okay, man. Yeah. Now... We've all been to weddings where we don't really know anyone. We don't know the, the uh, you know, the people that are getting married yeah. or their families or anyone. We've mm-hmm. all been in that situation probably. But Wait, can I rabbit, can I rabbit trail for just a second? Go right on ahead. I recently went to a wedding as a date um, for people mm-hmm. that, I, that I know, but I'm not close to. And right. um, the person I was a date to, he may be listening. If so, hey, what's up? Uh, forgot to like get them a gift and bring it with. <laughs> so I was like, I felt weird because I was like, hopefully he like sends a gift afterward. Otherwise, I'm just totally freeloading, even though I wasn't going to participate in the gift anyway since I was the date. I don't know. It would just put me in a weird situation. It's like, should I run and grab a gift card real fast? I don't know, man. Never brought a gift myself. To any wedding ever? No. <laughs> you didn't get <laughs> Steph and Danny a gift? <laughs> They, they have the they have the gift <laughs> of my I'm love gonna, and admiration. I'm gonna ask them if they noticed. <laughs> they certainly, you noticed that son of a bitch Chet didn't get you a gift. I I thought you I um, uh, yeah. um I'm just saying. Okay, go on. <laughs> anyways, I'm just just stating a fact. Um. <laughs> I guess I'm an evil. No, person. you know what? You're not wrong. There's all these weird things that we're like socially required to get gifts for people for, like baby showers, 
wedding right. showers, weddings, shit like that. I'm like, the only purpose of this is so that you can accumulate gifts. And I think that's bullshit. I think we should do away with that whole system. I'm like, you <laughs> chose to have a baby. That's not on me. I don't owe you something for deciding to get knocked up. I agree. Same with marriage. You chose to get Same. married. I don't owe you shit. It's a wedding. It ain't fucking Christmas. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing. Maybe, you know, I don't, I probably will not get married. So I, uh, <laughs> so I, um, maybe I'm selfishly in my head. I'm like, I'm never getting fucking gifts. That's for, true. Uh, You're not going to get anything back. It's not going to be an even exchange. Right. So why, why the hell should you? And listen, you don't want my gift anyways. You don't, whatever I would get, you don't want that. Trust me. Hey, you know <laughs> what? I have an idea. Huh? I have yeah. an idea. Okay. Let's throw, let's throw each of us. So you throw me and I'll throw you like a bachelor slash bachelorette shower, not a party, but it's like, I'm single. I'm never getting married. But let's all hang out and you should get me gifts to, to start my officially single life on my own without a partner. I still need a KitchenAid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I This is bullshit. What about the single people? I'm not yeah, even single. I still need a KitchenAid. If I was, I'm at. I, still, I still need shit. Yeah. Like just to survive. Humans. Humans need things Human. to survive. Not just married couples. Really? And like, they got two people. Like why do they need stuff for me i'm one person they're now yeah. two yeah i That's, need shit you got two incomes shit. and one house they should be giving me a gift yeah fuck them <laughs> <laughs> i mean not fuck them i mean at least not uh <laughs> no i'm Danny on strike or, Steph or any other <laughs> wedding i've been to if i've been to your wedding <laughs> i love you um someone else yeah, got that's true. in my name i'm I sure i love you bitches um <laughs> anyways i'll work on that maybe i'll bring it well, I'm going to be at a wedding in the next few weeks. Um, do you still... Oh, bring interesting. It? So am I. If you're in the wedding party, or if you're a groomsman or what yeah. have you, do you still yeah, need you do. to give a gift? Yep. Now, yep, it, you do. Does it, does it have to be like an even more special gift? Or I think honestly, yeah, because you're closer, it should be a little bit more intimate or maybe a little bit more costly. Like people whose wedding I'm invited to, I might get them like a $20, $25 gift because I'm poor. Sure. People whose wedding I'm in, because I'm close to them, I'm usually spending more like 50 you know? Oh, dang. I'm going to have to re I'm yeah. gonna rework my budget. Um, I know. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> You guys can sign my card if you want. It's um no, it's all right. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll happy wedding day. Sincerely, Chet, his girlfriend, and Kelsey. I'll just be um shopping this um. I got. To, <laughs> I mean, if it's any comfort, I'm just gonna get them a gift card. I think. Hopefully, oh, they're not listening. No, they won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. What they hear us in real life, they don't need to be tortured. They don't anymore. need this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> What, um, like, what kind of gift card are you? <laughs> okay, listen, did you receive an invitation? Uh, don't. No, I'm going somewhere. Listen, no, I'm going somewhere with this. To, don't try to tell me they have a, reg a gift registry or some bullshit. So they do, but that's to say that's where you should get them a gift card to. Not that you should get something off their registry, but if they're registered at Target, get them a Target gift card. Oh my god, you are... You're blowing my mind right now. I know. I get that yeah. a lot. I would have never uh, even considered that. Although, now it'll be weird if you get these two a gift and not the last two. So I say, well, you weren't in the last wedding, actually. Never mind. Fuck them. Um, true. That's that's what I... <laughs> listen, buddy. So maybe like a $20 gift card <laughs> for these people. Don't jump to 50. Don't go from well, zero to 50. Do you think you're going to compare gifts or something? They're like, hey, look what Chet got us. And then they're, they're Listen, they're like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the I don't other know. ones People are going to be petty ass bitches. The other ones are going to be like, that motherfucker didn't get. What if, I, what if I just say, hey, I got you something. I put it on the, the fucking table. Maybe someone swiped it off of there. I think maybe you had a fucking wedding thief. Wedding Ooh, gift thief. I love that. Because mm -hmm. now that I'm thinking back on it, I'm pretty sure I did bring them a gift. <laughs> now. Yep. Now that you got my mind going. Um, yeah, I sure. definitely got something off their registry. 
Yeah, I went on to the old registry and I was like, listen, uh, I'm just going to give him a gift card. And I put it in an envelope. I put it, I just fucking uh, just threw it over there on the little table. Um, if they didn't get it, I don't know what happened. <laughs> that's really, uh, that's upsetting to me personally that someone would yeah. do something that would stoop that low. To... Yeah, that's really gr- dark, honestly. If any of you have any information, please contact us in one of the ways that we mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, because that's yeah, that's some sick shit. And there was some shady people at that wedding, so I don't... <laughs> yeah, especially I don't there was this one bridesmaid that was, like, super drunk. She had short hair, glasses. Uh, she kept getting people, like, do beer bongs. I don't know, she was a shady bitch. I think I know her. I think I know mm-hmm. her. Hmm. that's a good suspect um anyways so i went to this wedding now okay the night before we're gonna go to a little family get together with the the bride and groom and the extended family and i'm just asking for some information about them so i can be ready to introduce myself have a little background sure and i'm told that they are the bride's family and the bride are of uh, Filipino descent or okay. heritage, or they are Filipino. Okay. I go to the we go to the party, and far be it from me to be judge someone by their facial features or anything. Oh but I was like, they really don't appear to be uh, Filipino. But then I don't have much of a history with the Philippines or the Philippine people. So I was like, let me bring up. What uh, did they look like? They were. They, um, well, let me go with the story here. <laughs> okay, okay. So Sorry. first thing I, I'm doing is I'm pulling up my phone. Jesus. And I'm going to... <laughs> it seems like there's some common courtesy that you do on a podcast, but I I don't know. <laughs> I'll edit it out later. <laughs> no, please leave it. I want them to know just who you are. <laughs> She's a drunk... <laughs> So, um, I've only had a, a beer and a half, so, um, I got to keep it somewhat sober. I'm driving after this. So I can't be going crazy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I know, right? Bummer. Um, hey, if it's the seventies, drink and drive would be okay. And I'd be all for it. I'd be doing it, but you know, mm-hmm. we're in modern times now. Them goddamn mothers against drunk driving came out in the eighties and just ruined it for everyone. But, Mad. uh, yeah. What is that bullshit? People, you could just drink and drive. It was no big deal. Then all of a sudden, these mothers are all mad because their children are dead. Well, big yeah. deal. <laughs> Survival of the fittest, bitch. Oh, it's, oh my, my, what is it? I, it's either my kid got killed by a drunk driver or, oh, I accidentally left my kid in the backseat of the car when it was summer. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> let me segue back into this. So I pull out my phone. I was like, let me do some research on the Philippines because maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know anything. And um, I'm looking at that. And I'm like, okay, little island nation, you know, Asia. And they also, I was, to, I was told uh, what we were having for dinner since they are Filipino was authentic Filipino food. And I was like, I wonder what, I wonder what that is. That sounds good. So <laughs> I'm, I'm looking around. I'm looking at, I kind of walk into the kitchen um, to see what they're cooking just because I'm interested. And I was like, oh, it's, mm-hmm. um, that looks like steak. And I, someone, someone's like preparing it. I'm like, oh, what, what is this? They're like, oh, we're making carne asada. I'm like, okay, so like, what kind of, are you putting it in a dish? Like, oh no, we're just eating it, you know, traditional. You put it, you wrap it up in a tortilla. Yeah. Put some lettuce on there. Some peppers maybe. And I'm like, in my head, I was, I wanted to ask. I'm like, oh, this is traditional Filipino Filipino food. food. But something in my head was saying that that can't be right. Don't don't ask that question. You're gonna look yeah, don't stupid. Say that. You're gonna look really stupid in front of someone who has no idea who you are. And I'm like, <laughs> well, that's not so bad. They don't know who I am. But then I was like, well, maybe, but they will. Maybe they'll find out who I am. So I don't want to be the first one. So I just hang back on that. And I'm like, okay. I was like, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. So um, go back to the people I'm with, and I'm like, so these these people are Filipino. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, are you, are you sure? There's like some uh, tango music playing, some, 
sounds vaguely South American to me, but I mean, who am I? I don't know. What do I know? They're not... <laughs> no, they're uh, they're Filipino. I'm, I'm like, okay. I uh, maybe you hear, you know, you walk by some different groups of people. Maybe you hear them speaking in like Spanish or something, and you're like, oh, they speak Spanish in the Philippines. Interesting. I would have never have thought that. <laughs> So now, I in my head, I had all these great conversations, and I, I you know, I was going <laughs> to ask about uh, the Philippines and the culture and try to learn something. But now I'm like, now I'm a little too scared to broach the topic. Um, so I'm real tentative about approaching people and introducing myself and asking them, you know, about their Filipino. What's it heritage. like being Filipino? Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. Uh, I'm Guatemalan. <laughs> but uh so I endure that for a little bit. Um it was a party oh here's the other thing I found interesting. Um now nah, I won't go into that, never mind. But uh, uh but uh anyways, I guess I buried the lead there. They were Guatemalan they're <laughs> Guatemalan, not, not I don't know why you know. One of those not United States places. I don't know why this and not Asian. <laughs> I don't know why I was given this misinformation, um, <laughs> and why I was not believed. Like I came, I walked in and immediately thought something was amiss, and I looked for other, you know, cultural cues as to what was happening. I looked at the food. I listened to the music. Heard some people speaking. I was like, oh, this makes sense to me. I brought this up to my party, and they're like, no. They're Filipino, and I was like, I, I um, that's all well and dandy, but um, I don't, I, uh, I now I feel like I can't speak to people because I'm gonna say something really stupid. Now maybe if mm -hmm. I was a more fearless person, I would have been like, hey, I hear you're Filipino, and they would have been like, no, I'm like, oh, okay, well that's all right. That's what they told me. That's cool. It's good to know the truth. <laughs> yeah, those idiots over there think you're Filipino. But uh, man, then you have let's see. The other, you know what I hate about? Okay, you're at this big party, you got a lot of people. Now you got to go to the bathroom. Okay, Ugh. Ugh, the worst. Oh god. We're talking. Who knows how many people at this thing? It's packed. It's jam packed. It's and like, are we talking number two? Oh yeah, I'm always talking number two. Oof. Now, now there's one bathroom, so you can't. You know how? What is the time limit to be courteous? Can I be in there for ten minutes? Can I be in right. there for 20 minutes? Because at the very, I'm probably going to take at least 15 minutes just because I know my body. I'm already, you know, yeah. I've been on the road. I was on the road for 16 hours. So I'm holding that shit in. Holding it in. I'm all messed up because you can't, you can't, you can't keep a schedule. So I'm having all kinds of right. issues. So I'm like, I got to find the bathroom. I get in there and my first thing is I panic because I can't find the lock. And I'm like, oh my, you know, there's nothing worse. Oh than, um, no. And I had, a, you know, on the drive up, I had a, a terrible experience. I stop at this truck stop and I go to, you know, go to the shitter and it's closed. And the lady's like, you got to go over to the other side and use the trucker bathroom. And I'm like, okay. Uh. Um, so I go to the trucker bathroom. And at first it seems like it might be okay because the stalls are pretty immaculate as far as it's a brick wall that runs all the way from the floor to the ceiling so there's no gap you can't and then the nice. door it's a strong wooden door that shuts and you can't see under it. it shuts all the way to the bottom like a real door so in that way it was nice. it was pretty nice but all the stalls were full were full except for this one in the middle and i was like i wonder why that why is that one not you being used huh whatever oh, no. so i go in there this the nightmare comes true the door does not lock I'm like, what do, uh, I do? do I do? I take the shit? Do I not? Do I wait till someone comes out? And obviously no one else is taking the shit in this one because they're like, the door doesn't lock. I'm not taking the shit in here. Um, mm -hmm. So I go ahead and I decide to take the shit. But um, it's, a truck, a bold move. It's, a it's a truck stop and these truckers got a shit because much like me, they've been holding their shit in. And when they come into that bathroom, they're not fucking around. They're going to a stall. So yeah. this door, like opened outwards i guess not inwards obviously but oh, it no. did lock and like it was the way the the stall was made like i had to like really like bend over almost stand out out of the seat to like hold the handle so when it like swing yeah. open 
So I'd get it, it'd like balance shut, it'd be pretty good, but it would be slightly creaked open, but not enough so you could see in or anything. But it, it would appear probably to the outside that it was an open stall. Anyways, I'm in there, oh, I'm, taking, no. I'm taking shits, and at least four or five times, like these truckers, they don't knock. They just fucking yank that door open. So there's like four or five oh. times trying to like jump up <laughs> mid shit and like grab this door handle and yank it back. But I can't yank it all the way back because the door swings in and out. So I'd swing it into me and, oh. or I'd swing it out. So I have to grab it. And then you got some trucker on the other side, like, you know, these fuckers. So these fuckers are crazy. They're all cussing, <laughs> hollering, and hooting and bitching. And uh, I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. You got to take a shit. This thing's just occupied and the door doesn't lock. And they're like, lock the fucking door. Right. And I'm like, I can't lock the door, trucker. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I already had shit uh, anxiety due to that. So then I yeah. got to this party. I'm looking for the lock. I can't find it. I'm like thinking, can I hold the door shut and like from like, you know, lean into the door. I like hold it with my hand and then the piss from that area into the, the toilet. Uh. And because I'm like at this point, I was like, I can't take a number two if the door doesn't lock. I can't. That's just not right. right. So I'm like looking at it. I was like, I'm trying to like look at the trajectory i'm like trying to think if that's even possible i was like no i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna piss all over the floor or something here and then i was like well if worse comes to worse i'm gonna just fucking there's a hand towel over there i just wipe that up i throw this thing under the sink oh. we're all good i'm like then i'm like oh maybe i can just piss into the sink and i'm like looking at the oh. sink and i'm like i don't know if i can get in that and i was like oh, i was like uh what do i do here anyways <laughs> i just held it um <laughs> No lock that on the sucks. door. No lock on the door. It doesn't end there. So the next day, oh, we have to go to the actual wedding ceremony, which is on top of a mountain. Wait, pause. Yeah. Did you get to shit at all between the story and the next day? I did, and that was another awkward thing because now we're in this small house that we're renting, and there's like. I don't know, six or seven people in there. There's not enough bedrooms for everyone. There's like a pull-out couch uh, on one level and another one on the other level. So there's some people like sleeping in common areas and there's people in bathrooms or, or not in bathrooms. People, I'm in the bathroom. Everyone else is. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> in bedrooms. There's people who have bedrooms, people who don't have bedrooms, and there's people in the bathroom like me. And I get really self-conscious because I was in there for like 45 minutes. And in my head... You know, I'm like, oh, all they're fucking talking about is like, why is this guy taking a shit for so long? What's his problem? <laughs> I'm sure they did not think about me one second. But in my head, I'm like, they're just probably out there having a, a raging debate about this guy's in the fucking shit. What's he doing in there? 45 <laughs> minutes. If you may need to take him to a doctor, this guy might have issues. Um, <laughs> trust me, I was having issues. But um, and it was like a small, like I had noticed because these are the kind of things I scope out when I'm like staying in a crowded place with people. I'm like, how much can you hear? Oh, yeah. com can you hear coming out of the bathroom? So like someone else went to the bathroom earlier, and I kept my ear, my ear attuned because I was like, <laughs> how much can you hear? And it, you could hear quite a bit. I mean, uh, it was uh -oh. the wood. It's that kind of the whole house was made of that fucking wood that's real like bouncy. Sounds bounce off of it. Doesn't really uh -huh. absorb it, so you could like hear everything. Someone in there, oh, you could hear no. the fucking fucking piss stream you can hear them fucking creaking over to wash their hands you can hear everything oh no so i'm just in there and i'm just fucking all kinds of shits blasting out of there and it's really loud <laughs> it's really loud and it's kind of kind of fucking hitting the water with force so it's making that <laughs> noise just ran on like in my and i'm trying to do it quietly like i'm trying to like but I'm trying to put effort in, but not too much. But I'm trying to like, you know, right myself comfortable here. And so I, that gave me a lot of anxiety. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I got, had that feeling like I wasn't finished, but I was like, I've been in here for 45 minutes. This is too long. I got to go out here and just act like I'm normal. Um, <laughs> and uh, so we fast forward to the next day and now I'm, I'm, you know, Hey, this wedding's on the side of a mountain. I'm like, cool. What a beautiful venue to have a wedding. That's awesome. Um, it's only ac mm -hmm. accessible via shuttle. So we got to get into the shuttle. And I'm like, okay, it's a shuttle. They don't want people driving up the side of this fucking mountain on a dirt road. Well, we get on the road and it's fucking, this thing's fucking bouncy. This, we're fucking, I'm bumping my head on the fucking thing. We're bouncing all Jeez. around. There's fucking, you know, fall off the 
side of the road, you fucking die type of situation. Um, yeah. But when I'm going, I'm hitting these bumps and it's really loosening up my uh, my guts. And I'm like, oh man, I might I might be able to actually pass a little bit more out of this thing once we get on top of this mountain. And I was like, oh, I'm, kinda, I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna. I've been feeling bloated all morning, but now I'm gonna take care of that. So. <laughs> We get up to the top of the mountain and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, so is there like a, uh, what, what do we got? We got like a little fucking, uh, porty pod area, a little fucking outhouse type, you know, old wooden rustic looking outhouse. Like you see mm-hmm. in the movies, a little fucking chimney, big fucking, uh, <laughs> you know, you sit on the thing, you get a splinter in your ass, you dump some shit in there and you yeah. go on your merry way. Like God intended. Yeah. So I'm like looking around I'm like, so yeah, I'm like, where's the, uh, where's the uh, outhouse at? And they are like, well, I don't, everyone's, you know, no one knows because they're all the other guests. Are like, well, I don't, I don't believe there is. Like, you don't believe there's a, an outhouse up here? I was like, that just seems ridiculous to me. We're going to be on the top of this mountain for like two hours. I was like, there's like old people here who like this, old people can't hold their shit. They'll just shit themselves. I was like, they couldn't, you can have, mm-hmm. you can have that. That would be clearly posted or someone would like let you know. Now, granted, the people I was with didn't know anything. They told me they were Filipino when they weren't, when they were Guatemalan. <laughs> um, and now that, you know, I was like, are you sure there's not a shitter up here? And they're like, I don't know. That's what I believe to be true. I'm like, oh, this is bad. I was like, well, can I take a shuttle back down and come up? And they're like, well, you're not going to make it back in time for the thing. And then I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's out. I was like, well, can I dismiss the thing? And now I feel pressured. It's like, oh, that guy was up here for the thing. Then he went down and disappeared. Oh, he had to take a shit. Now I'm the shit guy. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't, well, I was like, what do you do? What do you do when you're on top of a mountain? You got a shit. You don't got an outhouse. And everyone's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay. I'm like, um, they're like, well, we got a bottle. I was like, I can't shit into oh. a bottle. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you shit into a bottle. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I thought you were going to, I thought you had to go number one. I was like, no, this is like, well, I got to go number one and number two. It's kind of a combo deal. Um, <laughs> So I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to, let me go explore around here. You know, let me go walk around this mountain, see if I can find somewhere to, to do this. I was like, what's the, uh, what's the protocol here? And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, well, you know, like traditionally, environmentally, like what do, what do uh, Coloradians do when they're in this situation? Oh I was like, is it okay? Can you just shit on the mountain? Can you just shit on a rock? You shoot, I go under a tree. What's, what's the protocol here? Is this okay? Is this ethically okay? Can you shit on the mountain? And they're like, I, I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, well I'm, I'm going to give it a good try. It's like, it was a very dry, apparently they're having a bit of a, uh, it's not a really rainy season, so there wasn't a lot of foil, foliage, foliage, oh, foliage, 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 wasn't a lot of foliage, <laughs> really wasn't any leaves or anything. I was like, well, how do you, how do you, oh, no. it's like, what do you clean yourself up with? You like grab a rock, you scrape it, oh. do, you, do you throw Get a handful, oh, no. get a handful of dirt and kind of like dry that out or what's the, uh. <laughs> and then I was like, well, let me Google it. Let me see like, what, how do you wipe your ass on a mountain? And then, you know, I look at my phone and there's no signal. I'm like, well, what the fuck is this bullshit? No signal. Oh, and then I, there's a group of people hanging out on like this one rock and they're getting like one bar of signal. So I have to go over there and I'm like trying to like angle my phone so no one can look, see what I'm looking up, like how to shit on a mountain. Um, <laughs> Anyways, you, there's not very much useful info. Well, I couldn't look anything up because the fucking signal was bullshit. Um, God damn it, nature. Yeah, so I, you know, I walk up this little uh, fucking, there's a little parking area, a little clearing where some people were, you know, who did fucking venture to drive up in their SUVs or whatever on their own had parked. Um, walk up there. I was like, maybe I can just kind of like shit or piss in between these vehicles. And it'll be a good block. No one can see me. Um the wind that's the other thing i failed to mention the wind was blowing like crazy i'm talking like oh, 20 gosh. mile an hour gusts from it would switch the directions would switch i was like you can even piss out here you're gonna piss on yourself for sure yeah because you're gonna start pissing because the wind's going one way but then it's gonna come back on you so i was like i, I don't and, know yep. if i can piss out here but i was like you know what let me walk up here see if i can find some shit so i'm walking up in these fucking trails in a fucking suit and dress shoes and uh there's some guy there with the thing some other guest with a fucking baby. He's wearing a fucking. Oh no! I walk past him. We I like nod at him. You know, a little high, whatever. Walk past him, and then like behind me, I hear footsteps. I look back, and like you know, fifty feet behind me, this guy has now decided he's gonna walk up the trail too. 
I don't know why. I don't know. He's seen me. And he's like, oh, and I wave. I said hi. And he's like, oh, that guy's got a good idea. Walk up the fucking trails while we wait. I don't know. And now I was like, well, I got to lose this fucker. So I'm trying to speed up, trying to lose him. I was like, maybe should I <laughs> just give a courtesy? Should I be like, hey, dude, I'm trying to find a place to shit. Can you not walk on this trail with me? I was like, is that rude? Do not do that. I was like, and then I was like, I got I to gotta tell him that. Then I got to go back to the fucking thing. And I'm going to sit next to him. And then there's going to be that thing. I was like, I'll just try to lose him. And then like, I kind of lose sight of him. I was like, oh, this might be a spot. But, and I was like, what if I'm down here shitting? And then he comes around the corner and he's got the fucking baby. I was like, that's not cool. And then, so I'm trying to, so then I try to lose him. I'm cutting through another trail. And I was like, I think I found a spot. And I... I squat down. I'm like looking around. I think I think this might be the place. But then I hear some voices floating in the air, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are these voices coming from?" So then, like, I take two more steps, and I can like kind of see that back down over this hill, and like the whole like this. I think it's fucking the wedding party. Like, are sitting down here, like fucking hanging out. I was like, "Well, I can't shit over here. That's not. That's not. You can't do that to the the bride and room." Um, right. Yeah, I can't. I can't be up here shitting. Why they're down there getting ready, ready to fucking go out here and do the vows. So, um, can't shit in that spot. So then I walk down the trail some more and I see this like tin shed and I'm like, oh, finally a fucking outhouse. They, they must have them along the, the fucking trails. What a beautiful thing. No, it was just a fucking, I don't know what the fuck it was. Some sort of fucking dungeon or something for a serial killer. I don't know. There's just a shed in the middle of the woods. I didn't f- fuck with it. Um, what the fuck? Anyway, so there's nowhere to shit. So I just held my shit in for like two and a half hours. Um, man, there is nothing ha- as hair raising as um, sitting there during a wedding ceremony, just thinking you're going to explode diarrhea all over yourself in the, mi- <laughs> in the middle of the ceremony. I was like, man, this is just this is just the worst thing ever. Because let's just say, not just me, but anyone, if anyone accidentally shit themselves on this mountain, this is disastrous because everyone's going to see it. Everyone's gonna right. know. You're gonna have to ride down on the and you fucking have to, like, ride down on a what? shuttle with them when you're covered in shit. I was like, "There's like no way I'm shitting myself on this mountain." So um, I gathered all the strength I had in me, clenched myself, found the perfect position. <laughs> I found the fir- perfect sitting position to be in. Loosen the belt up, um, and I made it. I made it back down the mountain. And then that was the worst part because then you get back on the fucking thing and you're going down the mountain. And now psychologically, your brain, your body is starting to like be like, okay, we're going to make it. So it stops tensing itself as much. It's like, oh, you got two minutes, yeah, you're going to be down. It but then, a so your bit. brain, yeah, your brain starts to lower its guard. So then everything else starts to lower its guard. So now you're really clinching because you're like, okay, don't give up now. We're almost there, guys. But, anyways. <laughs> I don't want to go into the details of my shit, but let me just say, I did make it to the bottom of that mountain, and I did take quite a shit. Um, <laughs> quite a shit. I, I did. It felt felt pretty good. Um, anyways, that's my story for the weekend. I will shit myself that's... at a wedding. On multi- Oh. <laughs> well, I had a lot of shitting problems throughout the, the trip, but it came to a head when I was on top of that mountain. <laughs> damn i was just like shouldn't that be posted anything that'd be posted or like the fucking shuttle dude you know it'd be like before you yeah. on the shuttle like hey um yeah like hey if you need to go go now yeah, there ain't no shitters up there i don't know if they told you or not but you you're gonna be up there for a while and you can't shit or piss there ain't nothing and it mm-hmm. i don't know if you know the ethics of colorado but you don't shit on the mountain you don't go up into the mountain you don't go shit in the bush we don't do that here. <laughs> fucking grizzly, the fucking bears love this fella shit. They'll come up there and eat your ass, and you don't want that. Oh. Well. I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't know, maybe. He doesn't know what I want. Yeah, I mean, could be pleasurable. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that was my shit story. My shitty story. Damn. Of shit. Of shitting. Have you I ever felt been... I felt a lot of feelings during that. Like I had I had laughter, I had sadness, I had anxiety. Um, there was resolution. It was really, honestly, it had everything. Well, th- well, thanks for your review. Have you ever been in a situation <laughs> where you had a shit really bad and you could not? You were in some sort um, of, or have you never been in this precarious of a situation before? I can't think of one as precarious as that. But I do have, like, just this annoying, like, general situation 
that is my life in um so that is this i am a morning pooper for sure like it and it's always like about an hour maybe two after i've woken up oh yeah um Yeah, so that is just pretty much exactly as I'm arriving to work is what that is. Yeah, yeah. Which is terrible, because I'm like, why can't I poop at home mm-hmm. before I have to go to work? But my body's just not ready yet, ever. And I'm like, you've had years to sort this out, and it can't. The and the, and the, the worst... Here's the other thing. It's not just once. It's it's always twice. Two shits? Yeah, two shits. So, like, I'll 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 go... And then, like, a half hour later, I'll need to go again. And I'm like, what? why can't we just do this in one session? Like, we're yeah. not close. I agree. Like, 30 have, minutes is not that long. I shit, like, after I eat. So if I get up in the morning, I don't necessarily have to shit. But if I eat breakfast, if I get up and eat breakfast, about 30 to 45 minutes after I eat breakfast, maybe an hour, then I have to shit. So to me, what happens to me, usually what I do, I go into work later. I go into work around 1.00. So I'll usually eat lunch mm-hmm. at home before I go to work around noon. But then once I get to yeah. work, I'll be there for like 45 minutes. And then I got to take a shit. And then you're all self-conscious. Uh, I'm taking a shit at work. People are like, why is this guy shitting at work? Why is he in there for 30 minutes taking a shit? I was like, I don't know. That's just how long it takes me. I got to <laughs> get rid of all this shit. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. So then I'm like, oh, sometimes I don't eat before work. So I was like, I just don't want to do this because I'm going to have to shit. And then there's always, you got to ask, <laughs> and then sometimes you got to be like, you gotta get a coworker and be like, hey, can you do this thing for me? I got to go take a shit. And yeah, they're like, they like cover yeah, me. they're like, what the fuck? And I was like, I'm just telling you right now, it's going to be a while. It's nothing personal against you. <laughs> I got a shit. I mean, and if you, and I know the dangers. I mean, I can't hold this shit in. I hold this shit in and then I'm constipated. And then I got the hard shit and you put the hard shit out. Now you got an anal fissure. Now, now I'm fucking in- <laughs> Now I'm in fucking pain for the duration of the, I could be a week, two weeks, however long it takes this asshole to heal. Um, and I'm not oh going, God. I'm not going through that hell again. I have had one, nope. or, I've had a couple of anal fissures in my life and they ain't nothing to trifle with. Mm-hmm. I think we've talked about it on this very podcast. In fact. Yeah. It was one of the early episodes. Yeah. If you ever want to hear about a man with an anal fissure with some fucking, uh, uh, <laughs> itchy <laughs> uh, pubis hair going on. Trying to go for a run. Trying to go for a run. I mean, you got you got the chafe up front. You got chafe down back. It ain't feeling too good. Down back. Down back. Um, <laughs> that's not good. So, anyways, I mean, you gotta be. You gotta stay on a schedule. You gotta be on a regular thing you got to get rid of that stuff when it needs to be gotten rid of you can't be holding that in you can't be playing yep. games with it you play games that's right you play games with shit you're gonna get an anal fissure anal fissure or you're gonna shit yourself or you're gonna you i've never shit well and that's not true well no i've never shit myself <laughs> i sh- i may have sharted a couple times in my life but i've never shit myself <laughs> shit yourself I did it Hopefully. once when I was sick, when I was, like, really little. You shit yourself? Yeah, like, 10-year-old Ooh. Kelsey had the flu, and Uh-oh. she thought that she needed a fart. Uh-oh. That's not a fart. Well, that's a shart. <laughs> yeah, but it was, like, <laughs> it was not just a little bit. But I, don't think, I don't think that counts as a shitting yourself. I think if, you, if, you, if you're if you intending to fart and some shit comes out, <laughs> that is a shart. That was a miscalculation. <laughs> you can never be 100% so it doesn't sure. doesn't matter how much it is. Shitting yourself is a full out shit comes out. And I'm like involuntary, like I'm not trying to do anything. It just comes out. No, I mean, you could be trying to fart and then a whole fucking shit log comes out. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be intense. That'd, That'd be, be a intense. Lot. Yeah. I mean, I've never done that. I'm just saying if you fart an unintended, <laughs> if you fart and there's some unintended spray or leakage, that, that is not <laughs> shitting yourself. That's merely a shart. But that was a lot, though, because it was, I mean, I was sick, so it was, like, diarrhea, and it was not just a mild amount of shit, like. I mean, you I may don't have, know. I think you may have shit yourself, actually. Yeah, I think I may have, too. I'm sticking with my original story. Well, you were sick. Yeah, I was sick, and I was young. I was, like, ten. I didn't know. I didn't have a full grasp of, like, when to trust a fart. <laughs> One time when I was real young, well, younger than 10, maybe like six or seven or eight. Um, yeah. I, I had I diarrhea once. younger than 10 too. I don't know. I had diarrhea once. once. 
Well, well, no, this one time I remember it. I think I told, I may have told this story, but whatever. I, uh, I told my mom, I was like, oh my God, I go to the bathroom really bad. And she's like, well, you go. And then I'm running and I'm like pulling my pants off and as I'm running through the living room, cause I know it's coming. I get, <laughs> for some reason I get in there and the, uh, toilet seat is closed. Like the lid. I'm sorry. Oh, the lid is closed. No. So I go to grab it to flip it up and it like slips out of my hand and it shuts again. So in my little seven-year-old brain, whatever it was, I said, fuck this. I just jumped in the bathtub and just like started shitting in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> and I, the reason I remember it is, well, probably because it was, felt so good. Um, but I just remember like making, I had to make a couple passes up and down this toilet or not toilet, this bathtub. And I was shitting in and I was, I was, I had to like jump around to like not step in my own shit. So I'm sure this was quite the, oh. visual, yeah, quite the visual for my mother. <laughs> I just remember her coming in <laughs> just so horrified and disgusted. And I, it was one of the first times at a young age, you could see a look on an adult's face where they're like, why did I ever, why did I do this? Why? why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was the look I always got from my parents. The self doubt, the I could just it was all apparent at that. And I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I uh, grabbed the, the <laughs> lid, it slipped out of my hand, it shut again. I, I the shit was coming. It seemed like this was a better option than shitting on the floor. The bathtub at least seemed like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You could just fucking you could just wash it down the drain. Oh, I don't I don't know what the fuck. I wasn't there for the cleanup. I left. I was like, Mom, this is your. Good luck. She hated me. I don't. I one time. I'm sure I told the story. I ate a battery. I had to shit that out. She was supposed to dig through my shit. She didn't do that. So who knows if that bat? I may still have a battery in my gut. We don't know. It might still be in you. Yeah. yeah. It could Maybe be. that's why you're having all these shit problems. It could be. I probably have a leaking fucking battery in my fucking stomach. If that. If so. If it proves true, I may have a, a great lawsuit to against Tardies or the fuck I got that toy. Um, Came in a Happy Meal toys. Damn. One of them little like watch batteries, those little bitty batteries. Um, yeah. I don't know. I was a dumb fucking kid. I must have been really fucking dumb. Like I had to been, I was like five or six. It's like, do six year olds eat batteries? Is that a thing? I didn't, I didn't think that was such a problem at that age, but you know, there's a learning curve, I guess. Maybe I was younger. I'm going to give me an out. Like how young can you eat a battery and not be considered an idiot? <laughs> Cause that is the age I was. Let's say you were three. I was three. I was a, <laughs> I was a three year old, and I ate a battery. That's totally justified. I, I just want to say, can I just back up for a second? Okay, yeah, go ahead. So when you were, you said that you shit in the bathtub or whatever, and I had I had a visual in my mind for how oh. that was gonna go, and it was it was you sitting over the edge of the bathtub. But then you were like, oh, I was having to like hop around to avoid stepping in my shit. So then I realized, oh, you're standing in the bathtub just shitting. Yeah. But I feel like yeah. it would have been a much simpler experience to just sit over the edge. <laughs> I I was six or seven and I was, um, <laughs> I think we already established not that bright. So I, oh, I was, God. I think I was in a panic. I think this may have been, this to me in my mind is the first time I ever remember having a diarrhea type situation. Um. Mm. so it may it was unprecedented i didn't know what to do i wasn't given much direction yeah. other than go to the bathroom and i was like okay but i don't think you understand it's this stuff's coming it ain't stopping yeah, something's awry yeah something's <laughs> right and i the fucking seat they got i don't who had the fucking lid shut that's what i want to know who shuts the toilet lid you know actually i believe that you should always shut the toilet lid oh okay really yes and i have two reasons first of all let me hear the spray like having the toilet lid shut will just help not shit particles oh. disperse well, I, throughout the bathroom I, and get on I everything. shut it when I, I shut it when I'm flushing I'm not a fucking maniac then you open it again yeah because then you that's a waste of your time because then you get yelled at if someone goes there in the dark and they sit on a fucking lid no okay here's my other argument here's my second argument is that I shut it for gender equality because all these bitches out here in the world being like, eh, he left the toilet seat up after he pissed, and then I sat in toilet water, blah, blah, blah. If everyone just shuts the lid, and we all just come to expect that the lid will be shut, then there's no problem. I mean, we all walk into the same situation of having to adjust the toilet lid in some way. 
Okay. And we're being more hygienic. I am I am team shut the fucking toilet lid. And also if you have pets, you keep them from drinking out of the toilet water if it's shut all the time. Ooh, no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's I see. So man, what's in the news? What do you got? You been reading any any cool articles? Shit, ho. <laughs> Hell yeah, I've been reading some cool articles. Dude, did you hear this shit about how they're trying to fucking like privatize space trips? Well, hell yeah, that's what the uh, old Elon Musk and all this bullshit's been about. Now, I have, I haven't, now, before you go on, I'm just going to say, yeah, this whole, I haven't delved too deep into this whole uh, space privatization movement, but I, I feel like, you know, I think we're losing a lot by not uh, actually funding NASA and have, you know, having the actual government do this with, you know, rigorous public oversight and, um, I don't know. I feel like once you put this into the for-profit space, um, I don't know. I've, it's kind of scary to me. But anyways, did you yeah. also did you see Elon Musk on? Uh, he was on Joe Rogan's podcast smoking the weed. Did you see that? Everyone made it. Uh, big deal I didn't a couple see weeks it, ago. but I heard about it, and I heard that a lot of people were like pissed off. Yeah, which is some bullshit because it's legal where they are, right? Um. Yeah, but I think um, it's because he's. Uh, that's frowned upon, I guess, if a someone who's in charge of a business. I still feel like there's negative connotations with um, marijuana within certain yeah. spheres and like in the business community. Yep, um, and that's, that's too damn bad because obviously, obviously, he's capable of being an intelligent, like public figure and head of all of this really important shit while also enjoying the, the only thing I got out of it from time to time. He was, uh, he's very socially awkward, at least in that interview. Um, but then again, you know, <laughs> most, um, most really intelligent people only have so much energy they can give to, to certain things. And maybe he's a little lacking on the, yeah. you know, his, his brain's more focused on, uh, where the fuck he's doing some number bullshit. Yeah. He's an engineer. Social intelligence. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't seem socially unintelligent. He just seemed a little... Uh, you know, <laughs> I, yep. I, hell, I, hell, I've been socially awkward before, especially when I'm in situations where I've been told people may be Filipino when they're not, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or when you go to a wedding and you don't bring a gift and you didn't know you're supposed to, but you know, and you have whatever. a shit so bad that you think you might die. You got a shit. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. That's another thing. It's hard to be fucking Mr. Social when you're fucking clinching your shit in. you're like, I just. Listen, brother, I just need to shit somewhere. What do you What do you think? You got any tips, <laughs> tricks? Do you understand where I'm coming from? I got a shit. Do you? Anyways, what's what's going on with this fucking <laughs> space travel? So basically, Elon Musk has decided that he's gonna take some bitches to the moon. Mm, cool. One of them is some Japanese billionaire guy that's like been dying to go, and he's really lit up about it. Um, it could happen as early as 2023. And so basically this Japanese billionaire guy paid just a fuck ton of money. We don't know how much exactly, but a lot. Um, and he wants to take himself to the moon and he also wants to take various artists with him to, and I quote, uh, turn the entire ride into an art project called hashtag dear moon. Oh, um, okay. So basically he wants to inspire a bunch of art based on the trip to the moon, which is cool. And like, nice for you. You're a billionaire. You can afford to do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I just have some, some questions about the, the prospect, I guess. Well, hit me with um, them. Okay. Well, first of all, there's mixed reviews on whether or not Elon Musk will join himself. Hope not. And I'm kind of like, dude, why the fuck not? But we don't want to lose him. What if something goes awry with this rocket? Do we want to lose six to eight artists? Yeah, artists are expendable. Unless... <laughs> Elon unless, Musk is not. Unless they do invite two podcast artists with them. We are artists. And we do have a podcast. I think we bring a lot to the table. And we are not expendable. Yeah. So then in, in we that should tweet scenario, that it has to be brought along. Right, we could do a live show. I mean, two in the bush on the moon. I mean, what is that? The first bush on the moon. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Um, Damn. And and if that's no, the case... No, but, okay, so... 
Well, I'm just saying if I'm on there, on. I want Elon on there because then I feel like they're taking every precaution possible because they don't want him to die. Right. Feels a little bit more secure that way. But I'm not so much from a, a other people's perspective because I understand why the world at large wouldn't want Elon Musk to go. But why doesn't Elon Musk want to go is what I want to know. Because he knows the rocket like, might blow cause, up. <laughs> maybe well i like see and then that makes me nervous i'm like if if the guy who came up with this shit isn't willing to do it maybe i don't want to do it you know what i mean <laughs> like but like i looked up i was like has elon musk ever been to space and it's like no and i'm like so you put in all this time and effort to like develop this rocket to go to space but you don't want to participate in that like there's just something that's like i just don't get it i can't i can't relate like if i put forth all of this blood sweat and tears to make this dream happen, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm going, and fuck all you other bitches, I don't give a shit who else is with me, like, I'm going, you know? Well, here, I feel like he's probably thinking beyond the moon, so for him to go to the moon would not be worth it, that's not, not a first, oh. not a big deal, like, for him to personally do, now, if we were talking about Mars, or some other space-type exploration, maybe he would want to be, because then he could say, I'm the first, that's good marketing, that's good, that makes him seem fucking badass, he's like, oh, I was the first motherfucker to step on Mars. I invented, I made this fucking rocket. I did it all. But just to send some fuck, fuckers up to the moon, big deal. We've been on the moon before, not in a long time. You go up there, you're like, oh yeah, look, this big fucking rock. There's some shit over there. Uh, there's Earth. Whatever. Um, yeah, that's just something you do okay. to send some fucking rich fucks up. Get some publicity. Get people to fucking buy some more stock. Get in your some company. money. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, I, I feel like it's just, that's below, I think the moon is below Elon Musk, is what the situation is. Okay. Because, um, I mean, really, what is the moon? It's nothing. I mean, Earth is way cooler than the moon. Yeah. I mean, Earth has water and fucking trees, and you don't have to wear a big fucking suit. You can just be out in your fucking skin. Uh, what else? You I love fuck. being just in my fucking skin. There's animals. There's fucking the gravity is perfect. Um, fucking you can. There's plenty of chicks or whatever he's into. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, if you're up on the moon, who the fuck you got to watch who you're bringing with you? Because that's all you got. And does sex in space even work? I don't know. Is that all right? Can you do that? Hmm. It's like your dick gonna explode or something. I'm sure you can. Oh do my god. <laughs> I was thinking it would just be hard to, like, with no gravity, get any kind of traction with, like, thrusting. Right. Well, I know. one of one of you would have to be, like, tied down. Yeah. The other one, like, anchoring yeah. him or herself to that one. Yeah. For sure. I've, I've, pretty, I've either seen a, a movie where this happened, or it could have just been a pornography. I'm not sure. I don't think the porno... <laughs> I don't think the porno would... <laughs> would have the budget to do it so this must have been a real movie right that's pretty intense well now i want to watch whatever movie that was because i want to understand how it works i don't know i'll have to maybe i just made this up in my head if this hasn't been done someone should do it that's had to have been done people floating around fucking elon musk it's been done it's, it's been gonna done. be literally a rocket full of artists they can have a space orgy I mean, there's been some astronauts that have definitely fucked when they've been up there. There's no way you want it. I hope so. In Can fact, you imagine? In fact, they probably encouraged it. They probably wanted to do some tests, you know, be like, oh, what's it like to fuck in space? So I'm sure NASA, that's some. That's something they did for sure. I hope so, because sometimes they're up there for years. I know. What if you're fucking jerking off and your fucking jizz floats out there? Like, how do you capture that? Wait, it floats oh. into the guy's the oh, next, no. next room. The jizz gets floats into his eye. Like how that'd be awkward. <laughs> He's now, like, I didn't think that through. You're stuck in this space station for another two years together. Like this guy's just fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, this fucking cosmonaut over there, fucking holding a grudge, <laughs> holding a grudge. Got, got this fucking American jizz in my eye. Got your cum in his eye. <laughs> this American cum. This so eye's never been. The moral of the story: If you're. Oh what? What no? <laughs> this eye's never been what. <laughs> This eye's never been the same since I got this American jizz in it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so moral of the story, if you're jerking off in space, use a sock or something. Yeah, yeah. You just can't just jerk it right out because when that stuff goes, right, right, it's going to float around. It's just going to do what it wants. Do what it wants. I mean, it could go out under the fucking doors. Do they got rooms? I don't know. It goes under the door seal. It's floating around. Gets into someone's... Oof. 
Yeah, what if someone's fucking, uh... Is it, like, one large little, like, blob floating around, or is it several small blobs? <laughs> Depends on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I just for my what I've seen, my visual ex- evidence is it, it can come in different forms. Um, Perfect. It can come uh, in different forms. It can come in different. Okay. You know, there can be a uh, um, this one big glob. There can be a uh, uh, couple small globs, a couple dribbles. All right. Yep, that'll do. I'd like to die now. <laughs> I was just hey, trying to okay, so that's... for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. That's a satisfactory answer to me, like Elon Musk being saving it for something bigger than the moon, because the moon's already been done. Who gives a shit? I agree. Um, well, the other question that it kind of leads me to is like, who are the artists that we'd want on this trip? Because they're going for free, by the way. Like that Japanese billionaire oh, you don't gotta pay. is covering all of it. Yeah, no, they're going, anybody who's being invited, but I think the Japanese billionaire is inviting them, so he's going to pick them. But he's he's paid everything. They're going to go for free. He said he wants to represent many different fields, such as painters, musicians, film directors, and more. So now I'm like, who are we going to get on the moon? Like, who are these artists going to be, and what are they going to do when they get back? Are they all actually going to commit to doing this Dear Moon project? Or are they just going to freeload, go to the moon, and be like, eh? <laughs> I'm just saying, Thanks. I'm worried. I don't want to send anyone important up there. What if something goes wrong? We lose all these great artists. I know I just said they were worthless yeah. a while ago, but now I'm just think I'm thinking, you know, hey, what if this, this is, you know, this is yeah. where we should put all the... Fun. Six to eight is a significant number to I lose just, all at once. I don't think, I don't think this world can uh, lo- afford to lose six to great, six to eight great artists. <laughs> But who do we even have six to eight great artists at this point? I don't know. Who would you consider? A, who would you consider a great artist at this time? See, that's why my mind is drawing a blank at the moment. That's oh, just because you're not cultured. Yeah, probably. Who are your great artists? <laughs> um, uh, Banksy. No, I, I don't really even like him. I just know he's an artist. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Oh, you know, Banksy, he's a guy, um, I know, wait, um, who's that guy? The Obey guy? <laughs> nah, no one knows. That I guy. don't know. Okay, that guy, you send him up there, you send Banksy, you send, uh, fuck, who else? Who's a great artist? Okay, a great filmmaker, who makes great films? Fucking, uh, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> we're not sending, we're not sending Steven Spielberg up there, he's a goddamn national friend. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you asked for a great artist and I delivered. Uh, he's, you know, he's maybe you send like Martin Scorsese up there. We'll send his ass up there. Um, his ass. Yeah. He made good fellows. You know that movie? We're going to do that one day. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm excited about yeah, that. One day, someday soon. Um, yeah. And maybe if we ever get, um, like people who subscribe to us or who like send us any kind of monetary, assistance maybe they'll get access to exclusive things such as our drunk cinema sessions oh yeah drunk yeah drunk cinema is awesome guys you know one day you may hear it especially if you become a patreon supporter or whatever the fuck it's gonna be you're gonna get all kinds of exclusive mm-hmm. content including oh yeah who my favorite artists are who i'd send to space i can't name them right now because i haven't thought about it but I may think about it tonight. <laughs> I might have this list ready for you. Um, I don't know. It's like, all right, okay, so you send these artists up or, and they're on this fucking shit and they're supposed to be working on an art project together the whole time? Yeah, or not necessarily that maybe, but may- they come back and contribute something to this like moon art thing. Okay, what's sin? Like the reason that he's paying to send all these people is so that he can see the art that is produced as a result. Let's send Jay-Z... And Beyonce. Oh. Um, let's send... Kanye. Kim Kardashian. No. 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 <laughs> um, Miley Cyrus. We'll send... You want someone popular. You want popular artists who people are actually going to be interested in and 
may have something right. somewhat. Beyonce would honestly probably be a good call. That's what I'm saying. They may have something, you know, somewhat interesting to say about the experience. I don't think Kanye could perhaps, but Kim's not going to have anything of any merit. No. Um, I was totally kidding. I don't give a fuck what Kanye has to say. Well, I don't, you know, I'm just saying he may. Um, but you send up old fucking Jay-Z and, uh, you know, the, uh, the other, the lady, what's her name? Beyonce. Beyonce. You bring, you send her up there. Um, who else? Um, an artist. Hmm. You send up a fucking, uh. What about like a novelist or a writer? Who's a, who's a great, is Kurt Vonnegut still alive? (laughs) He may have, you know what? He, I want to say he. I'm looking. He's one of those people I think died fairly recently, but now I'm very. I'm questioning. I... Name, like he's probably still alive. No. Oh, 2007. He died. <laughs> when? What? Well, shit. 2007. That. Well, that's relatively recently. I'll take that. Um, Fuck. That upsets me. Yeah, he's gone. What about uh, fucking uh, what about Mark Twain? Is he? What's he? What's his status? Oh. Let's see. I think he died maybe in the... Um, what if we sent Oprah? Okay, I think Oprah may... That may have some merit. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I was like, okay, I'm not... Yeah, okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure Mark Twain is really old. Yeah, he died in 1910, yeah, my friend. that was a joke. I don't know why you looked it up, but... <laughs> says more about I, you Because I was like, me. maybe I'm wrong. I was like, what if I'm wrong and my life is alive, but I'm pretty sure he's really, really old. Yeah, you know, a lot of people consider him like the first stand-up comedian. Oh, yeah, he would get it. He'd get up and just give uh, give talks that were jokes, and make people laugh. They didn't really have a word for it at the time, but that's what some people. Oh, anyways, a little trivia for you. He's a pioneer. He was man. He, yeah, fun fact. Yeah, he he loved fucking all that shit. Um, anyways, can't send him. Up. He loved fucking. He's dead. Um, Goner, R.I.P. Who is a great writer? Who's I don't read enough. I don't know shit. That's still alive. I got, I got no clue. Fuck. Uh, ooh, we could send J.K. Rowling. Yeah, send her up there. <laughs> um, yeah. Send, who we got? We got Oprah. We got J.K. We got Jay Z and Beyonce. Um, That's four. Yeah, we get two to four more. We need like a painter. But I feel like we're being like very, uh, like we're thinking of Western artists, American yeah, or American. Yeah. Well, I don't know non-Western artists. Um, I'm trying to think of a, of someone I might know. Um, fuck it. Just send them up there and then just fucking me and you. So that brings us up to, uh, Oh yeah. We'll, so we get like up to two more, but we could stop at six. Yeah. He said six to eight. Okay. Well, I think that's enough. I think that's it. I think that's all you need. That's, those <laughs> are the people I want to be. That's the, that's the dream team. We can, we can do interviews. That's the dream team. I can, t- you know, because I don't think, you know, I could ask Jay-Z, hey, how do you feel about shitting? Have you ever been, you ever been in a situation where you had a shit? Maybe you had to go on stage, you're yeah. in the middle of a performance hey. after shit? Yeah. Ooh, that would suck. Yeah, think about that. You got fucking um, 50,000 people and you got shit. This could be the start, the debut of our travel podcast. Oh, yeah, this may be the first episode. You know, if things go our way, guys, and to, for that to happen, you got to tell people about this fucking show. Yeah, send us to the moon. You got to send us to the moon. We got to get this started right now. Well, I want petitions started. I want fucking, uh, I don't know. You, where the fuck you? You do the thing, and then the, it, it happens. I've seen it. Um, <laughs> you got to like. You, you do the thing, and then it happens. Inspirational know, words. You from make. Chet. You make a vision board. Um, you do that shit. You fuck right off with that yoga bullshit right you now. You vision board. You read The Secret. Um, <laughs> get some fuck. I'm done with you. Get some fucking crystals. Oh, let's send that guy. Yeah, that guy. The guy who wrote The Secret. Um, yeah. Ooh, wait. I know another one. Nick Cage. There's eight. We got eight. Oof, Nick Cage. But I don't want to lose Nick Cage. I feel like if something went wrong, and now I'm... Well, I guess we're on there. He's a national treasure. He is. Twice. Two times, in fact, I believe. Um, twat. You just said the word twat. What? <laughs> what? You were like twat two times, I believe. <laughs> I, I, it was merely subconscious um, if I did say that. <laughs> That's what made it so beautiful. Twat. Two, in fact. 
Oh boy. Anyway. That was, yeah, just go ahead and delete that off of there. That was simulating. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I talked about it. I'm it's glad. finished. What I really want to hear about is cisgendered languages. No, no, no. That's, that's <laughs> too, that's too much. That's too big of a one. We'll big. save that for next time. <laughs> How about man? Just... I'm saving that for next time. Okay. I want to hear about ass wipe in all caps. <laughs> Well, there was a... So here, let me... Hang on. Hang on. Let me explain something to our listeners. So we have like an outline where we put in topics that we want to talk about, but we don't really like touch base on them before the show because we want to have genuine reactions, right? Yeah. So we just... We'll post a little like link to our article and then we'll just title it something. So I have one titled Cisgendered Languages, which if you want to hear about that, tune in next week. And Chet has one titled "Asswipe" in all caps, and I believe it pertains to Dwayne the Rock Johnson uh, rubbing produce. Is what I'm seeing in the link. So oh please, God, do not go on. Do not solely the, the 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 fine name of Dwayne Johnson. This was this was <laughs> my. I'm picturing him with a cucumber doing some shady shit. God damn it! Ugh. This <laughs> I, I have so much respect for the Rock, and I. Have to block that in. Anyways, it was not Dwayne Johnson. It was Michael <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, twenty-seven, of uh. <laughs> why? Why would they just put Dwayne Johnson in the URL? I mean, there's Michael. Michael's in the URL. What do you click? Paint. Oh, it is. Don't you? Oh, it is. I just I saw Dwayne Johnson. I just got excited. <laughs> You. Did they name him after Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Well, he's 27, so I think he's <laughs> just well. I, I think maybe if he's about five years long, younger, he could have been named after Dwayne Johnson. But oh, damn, but uh, Michael Dwayne Johnson, 27 of Virginia, uh, was arrested at a giant food store. That must be a chain of food stores they have down there. Real creative, giant food store. Oh, it's literally it's a proper noun. Giant food store. I'm pissed off about that. Um, he was arrested after an employee called 911 about destruction of property. The employee told officers Johnson was allegedly seen picking up produce, pulling down his pants, rubbing the produce on his buttocks, and replacing the produce back upon the shelf. No. He was, ar- no. Yeah, he was arrested inside the supermarket and charged with two misdemeanors, indecent exposure, and destruction of property. So... Whatever he did to these oh um, these veggies, he destroyed them. Um, <laughs> now I don't know. Barf. It says he he rubbed them on his buttocks. Now I don't know how much people could see or what happened. I don't know. If, I'm a little. I don't know. If, was he wrist rubbing them on his cheeks? What is the buttocks? Right. Was it cheek or was it anus? Yeah. Was it buttocks or anus was it insertion into the anus there's so many it's very vague i Uh, I think they're trying to be a little classy i think they would have specified if it was insertion but how could you tell like if you you just see a guy grab a Uh. a cucumber and (laughs) and stick his uh hands down his pants and this you see him some movement you don't know what he's doing he could be oh my picture my my mind was that his pants were pulled down a little bit so you could see his ass oh well, yeah. He... Also, I still think I still think that you could tell if he was inserting it. Like that's a whole extra step. Like, it's much more difficult to do that than it's just rub it on the cheek and move like on. You, like I think you'd be able to tell. I see the pleasure on his face. You think <laughs> that too? That too. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it just made me laugh because then I read authorities say they haven't determined a possible motive. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, why? Why would there need to be a motive? <laughs> yeah, I think pleasure is the motive. Well, yeah, that's um. Pe- pleasure is always my motive. Especially anything to do with vegetables or fruit. Indeed. Um. I uh. Here's the thing. I think if he just rubbed it on his butt, like on the cheek, I don't think that's. To me, not on that the big, cheek, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. You can just throw that shit back in the bin. I mean, you're supposed to wash. It. Yeah, I mean, I mean, people touch it with their hands, right. and the hands are probably more gross than butt cheeks. Yeah, you don't know. You don't want to know where my hands have been. I've been fucking scratching and clawing and digging and scraping. Yeah. Every yeah. every which worse things than butt. Every cheeks. which way, but but loose. Um. <laughs> not really i'm kind of a clean oh, what person. what I'm, what does that even mean what 
every which way but loose. I don't know. It's just one of those, uh, <laughs> one of those, um, you know, uh, one of those words, one of those sayings. I don't, I don't think I've never heard that. I'm not sure if I believe you. <laughs> every which way but loose. I'm going to Google, I'm going to Google every which way but loose. It may be a movie, to tell you the oh, truth. Oh, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, there's cast came up as a search. <gasps> 1978. There you go. That can be one of our drunk cinemas. That could be. Is that Clint Eastwood? Yeah. I, it is Clint Eastwood. He's a guy with a pet monkey, and he gets into fights. Every which way but loose saying. <laughs> They're like, it was made up for this movie. It is a saying. Nope, it's a thing. Well, sorry, I I'm sorry. I apologize. Why to you. you Why you question me? Well, <laughs> do we want to get into that or? Uh, I listen. Every which way. Save you that want, for another podcast. Yes. Every which way. Every way possible. Turn someone loose equals let someone go. So every which way, loose means every way possible to let someone go. Is what this random oh. internet uh, said. <laughs> anyway. But it's every which way but loose. Yeah. So I feel like it's every which way except for letting someone loose. That's bullshit, uh, internet. Um, I'm just, bullshit. Every which way but loose. Every which okay. way. I don't know. Trust me. It's a word. It's a saying. Anyways, you're beyond that. I'm just saying... <laughs> And I, I just wanted to clarify, I don't scratch or scrape myself anyway, which way but loose. I was exaggerating for the story. Sure. I don't want the, people to think I'm walking around with shit under my fingernails or whatever the fuck they were calling. Trying. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I may borderline shit myself at weddings, but I do not scratch. I did not. <laughs> Where do you get borderline from? <laughs> I did not know there was no shit at all. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> it was close. I, but close is different than borderline. No, it's a borderline shit my pants means like I was on the border of doing it. Border, I was close. Borderline makes me think of something made it across that borderline. <laughs> you were at the borderline, not over yeah, the borderline. Yeah, at the borderline. There was border patrol and they were like, no, nah, you can't. And, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> And, uh, oh, I won't. I won't. Speaking of borders, where the fuck is that wall? Anyway, where's my wall? It's never happening. I was promised a fucking wall. I don't know. I mean, and Mexico would pay for it. You know what? I gotta be honest. I uh, a couple weeks ago, I was watching a Trump speech. I love to listen to the guy. Oh uh, yeah. For the comedic nature. Um. So yeah, yeah. I hope the wall thing keeps going. I hope we never get it, but he keeps talking about it because I enjoy hearing him talk about it. Yep. Um. Is he still talking about it? I don't know. I think what we should be talking about is his dick. Ooh, I, yeah. I, I, I do believe <laughs> I shared that with you. Um. At some point, did you read it? You did. did. You? How was it described again? Did you read it? I think I perused it. Yeah, that's the best way. I didn't read the whole thing. I just got to the juicy parts about his dick. Something about, I want to say frilly pubes, but that's not I the I thought word. they said Yeti or Bigfoot pubes. Yeti. Yeah. It was Yeti. Yeah, Yeti pubes. Which I was trying to like conjure what that meant exactly. Yeti. I was picturing just like out of control, like really, really furry and bushy. Yeah. And then also, like, as you get away from the main portion, you just kind of get to, like, the outer and thigh areas. Oh, it's God. just really, like, patchy mm. was also <laughs> was also my thought. And, you know, you know, the carpets probably match the drapes. Uh -huh. So it's, like, just patchy, gingery yeah. pubes. What an unappealing sight that had to be. Yeah. Has to be. On, like, a, a not nice body also. Not that it's, like, not that he's disgusting, but it's not, like, a... a sexy person you know he's not um fit or even close to being fit so which is fine right I mean, so it's like if, it's like pasty chubby belly thighs and you, area surrounding this like patchy yeti pube groin and you can be chubby that's fine i don't have a problem with that that's awesome hey whatever, right whatever not a problem but it just doesn't add to the aesthetic what? i'm chubby i'm yeah. i'm a chubby ally but it doesn't add to the aesthetic i'm a I'm chubby too, guys, and uh, I just... <laughs> and uh, why are you laughing? Sorry, why are you laughing at me? 
<laughs> because you're so tiny. What? I am, what are you talking about? I am of average <laughs> size. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you by stating that you weren't chubby. These people, our, <laughs> our listeners have never seen us. I was trying to, you know, um, if they were chubby, I wanted to know why it's in their corner. One of our listeners has seen um, us. Marlisa, weigh in. Is Chet chubby? You know, I've actually lost a little weight here lately, so I'm down to about 145, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so chubby. I know. It's a little upset. All right, chubs. I've dealt with this for a long time, and I know... <laughs> It's a painful situation. Whatever you say, fat ass. <laughs> oh man, you you got the you're triggering. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just start calling you fat all the time. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I wish I was fat. I don't, <laughs> I don't feel that way. As a kid, I always that'd be dope. As a kid, I always wanted to be fat, but um, why? I just always liked fat people. I don't know what it was. I just. I liked. <laughs> I think we may we may have spoken. When about I grow this up, I want to look like Chris Farley. No, nah, not Chris Farley, but, well, yeah. Yeah, he was cool. He, he's kind of a cute fatty. Oh, my God. I liked him. He's funny. I am just picturing you obese, and it's, like, rocking my world. I just liked, I had a lot of fat friends growing up, and I liked them. They were <laughs> cool, and I just wanted to fit in with them and be fat, too. And Aww. Uh, I mean, that's not true. I don't know if I had a lot of fat friends, but I did have quite a few. I had a few. <laughs> and one or two. What was it like having friends growing up? Did you not have any friends growing up? or No, I'm just kidding. I had friends. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had a... But then then I was a real asshole in the middle school. I was like, I'm too cool for all of you, so I'm going to stop being friends with you. And then I had no friends for like a year, which served me right. Yeah, well, why did you decide not to have any friends? I, on- I think that I thought that I was getting in with a cooler crowd. Oh. And then, well, specifically, so I had, like, two friends that I was close to, and then I had, like, a boyfriend Ooh. from elementary. Oh, wow. Good for you. And primarily, <laughs> primarily my issue was, like, the boyfriend, because um, we just, I was maturing a little bit faster than him, and we just weren't on the same page anymore. So I, like, I broke up with him, and then I also just stopped hanging out with our mutual friends, because we were all, like, a friend group. Right. Um... So part of it, a large part of it was just me being like, oh, I'm cooler than this. I'm going to go be cooler than this. But like some of it was also valid because it was like I was just like in a different spot than those people and particularly that person. So when I was um, in school, I had, or when I was a kid, I had friends. But uh, I think I mentioned this before, like during the summer, I would like not contact people because I thought people didn't do that during summer. Yeah. And then I'd later on find out like all my friends were hanging out during the summer. And I was just really, I remember. Yeah, and you were like, whoa. I mean, really shocked. <laughs> like, oh, wait, I thought it was summer vacation. They're like, yeah, you have more time to hang out because you don't go to school. And I was like, oh, <laughs> interesting. But like, well, yeah, this sucks. We would yeah. try to hang out with you, but you would never, like, you know, take the phone calls or anything. I was like, oh, I did. I just, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing people did. I'll, I'll try to do that. So then later on, mm-hmm. I did start hanging out with people. You know, back to the fat friends thing. I don't know what this <laughs> has to do with anything, but one of my I'm fat ready. friends, um, man, I don't know how old we were, but um, maybe this is why I like fat people. Maybe this is why I like fat guys. I don't know. This. <laughs> <laughs> me too. But this, uh, Whatever you're about to say, me a, too. A fat friend of mine was the first person to touch my dick, and uh, that really left oh. an, an, an indelible memory on me was it a good good i mean i didn't really i didn't he didn't ask and i didn't uh take any pleasure from it it he just grabbed my dick so no yeah he grabbed it like through my shorts too he didn't like grab like he like grabbed like over the like on the cloth he didn't like get right onto my dick um but he did grab my dick and i just remember always being like that's weird he grabbed my dick i was like are we gonna talk about this or i was like you know what i'll just let that <laughs> i'll just let that one go yeah. Nothing else to say. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he was gay at the time because later on, uh, he was gay. Um, <laughs> and we were really young, so he probably just didn't know how to bring that up to me. But I'll just never remember. I'll never. So he just grabbed your dick. He did. He went. We were we were in the woods, at, uh, and it was dark, and uh, we were all kind of sitting like in a circle, like telling ghost stories or something. I can't remember. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, he was sitting next to me, and he just grabbed, reached over and like grabbed my dick, like a handful of dick. And uh, oh, a handful of dick. And I know it was him because like I could feel his arm coming from that side, and like his arm was on my leg, yeah. and then he grabbed my dick, and then. He just kind of grabbed, I don't think he knew what to do with the dick at that point, or maybe he wasn't sure, you know, far as because he just kind of grabbed it and kind of squeezed it, but not too hard. And then I, mm-hmm. and then I just kind of like shoot his hand away. <laughs> and then nothing was ever said or brought up about that. But I was in my head, I'm thinking maybe that's why I was always attracted to always liked fat people because one of them grabbed my dick once and that was long before anyone else was grabbing my dick. So that's fair. You know what? That could so be it. the only action you'd have. They're very giving people. <laughs> He's a great guy. Good friend. We were, we were buddies before and after that. That's, yeah, I was going to ask, like, did you stay friends? Whatever happened to that? Well, he ended up moving away and this was like pre, uh, I'm old. So this was like pre-internet. So you can like keep in oh. like contact. Keep in touch. Well, there was, yeah. there's probably the internet. There was the internet, but there wasn't like social media like we have now. So you can not really... I guess I could have sent them. Did you have AOL yeah, was, or AIM Messenger? Sorry. There, AIM probably wasn't even around by then, but AOL is like probably exactly what we had. Like you had a fucking dial Damn. into the phone thing. Anyway, so, and it, we were both poor. Yeah, so. yeah. I think I was poor and had the internet. I think he was poor and probably didn't have it. So, uh, uh, anyways, okay. we couldn't keep in contact. He fucking disappeared, but uh, he grabbed mm-hmm. my dick. So I don't know. Oh, it wasn't shit. a negative experience, it was just a thing that happened. And, uh, yeah, I thought maybe that's why I like fat people. I don't know. They're always nice. Fat people are jovial and (laughs) I don't know, dude. I was a fat person for a while and I was a miserable fuck. Yeah, but I like you and you used to be fat. (laughs) So it might be like, if you were never fat, maybe I would not, uh, maybe I would not enjoy your company. Maybe I wouldn't be nearly as cool. Yeah. Maybe I'd be like, ah, just another fucking person that's never been fat before. What do they know about life? (laughs) I could have been. I don't know. I'm just saying. I haven't. I could. Yeah. I'm attracted towards fat people. So you could have. You could. You know what? I. I might have missed out on two in the bush if I had been fat my life. Thank God that I, th- that I was depressed and binge ate. I mean, I'm not trying to celebrate <laughs> your your uh, your problems. Sure. I'm just saying. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm celebrating that. I'm just saying, I, I mean, if I'm, I firmly believe there's something to this. If you would not have been, there's something, the, the way, the worldview of a person that that is fat or was once was, <laughs> just I connect with it and uh, I get it. Yeah. I mean, anyone, if you... Speaking of, speaking of people that once were fat, have you started Insatiable yet or no? No, I have not started that. Yeah, I started uh, Maniac. Um... Yeah. Fuck me up with that shit, dude. It was put me... How far did you make it? Well, I started... <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> we, I was, like, texting you earlier, I believe, and I was a little depressed, and I think it was because of that that uh, that uh show. It was really in tune, at least that first episode, it was really in tune with where my headspace was. Um, yeah. But I gotta say, I mean, the first episode was, like, very... Um, very entertaining, very intriguing. I, I I wanted to, I had that initial reaction and I wanted to binge it, but I wanted to get yeah. stuff done today. So I limited, limited myself to that one episode. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, finishing. And I, I know you've seen a few more episodes than me, so you know all the secrets. Well, not all of them. I honestly, if anything, I'm more lost at oh, this really? point than oh, I wow. once was. Yeah. 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 Does it seem like you're gonna they're gonna actually explain things or are you just gonna be lost all the way through i don't so that's the thing because it's a show and so far there's just season one and 10 episodes and i'm like i feel like they're gonna leave me in a place where i have no clue what the fuck is going on and i can't wait for next season i'll have to wait like a fucking year i'm already pissed are they even doing it i thought it was just a one one and done thing is it I hope so. I hope so because then maybe there will be some kind of resolution, and I won't have to play this game. Right. I mean, my only um, my only criticism of it, not criticism, but my only thing is it. I mean, well, whatever. I don't need to get. I don't want to tear it up. I haven't even seen the whole thing. It may it may flip these uh, <laughs> things on its head. It may not. It may may not play into all these tropes, um, or things. Just the, the fact that it starts off with like it's a male protagonist who's like having a fucking issue and then there's some mystical woman that he meets and then 
Yeah. I don't know what happens from there because I haven't watched, but this that's what happens in the first episode. And that's just kind of a, I don't know, something we've seen many times before. But, yeah. But, you know, yeah. whatever. I guess for a reason, it's a good narrative structure. It was probably written by a guy, so of course he's going to make some schlubby dude be the main character. There's going to be some <laughs> hot chick that's like, oh, fuck. He used to be fat, and I'm there's just something about fat people I love, so that you love yep hey so me and her do you well. know who do you know who i think skinny jonah hill looks like who ben stiller yeah yeah a little bit next episode you watch watch for ben stiller's face and you'll see it you, i can i i get where you're coming from i can I buy that he uh it was annoying i couldn't unsee it the whole time i just can't believe he's uh he's a really dedicated guy ben stiller no jonah hill dedicated because he lost all the weight you mean yeah and he's keeping it off I mean, and, yeah, that and he, must be. And listen, he could still be fat. I'd still celebrate him, and I'd still think he's very dedicated. Um, mm-hmm. I just think it probably takes a lot of dedication to do that. Well, here's kind of where I'm at. I feel like it honestly, I think the harder part is losing all the weight than keeping it off. Because if you like just, it's, I don't think it's that difficult to maintain an average weight. Like you gain some here, but you lose some there. Like, I've had an average weight for the last several years, mm-hmm. and it's not been that hard. So I'm just like, eh. I'm not that impressed when people manage to keep off pounds. I'm mostly impressed when they manage to lose them. But he lost That's quite a me. bit. Oh, yeah, and I'm really fucking impressed by that. But I'm not impressed that he didn't gain it all back, because I'm like, well, yeah. that's not quite as much of a feat, I don't think. He is really rich, too, so it's, you know, obviously he has, like, uh, a personal chef, personal trainer, mm-hmm. personal everything. So how impressed can we be? Yeah, and they may they, yeah. that may be all CGI. I don't know. Hell yeah, he's still so, fat. What about this? What if he was skinny the whole time and they made him look fat? <gasps> Damn, you're blowing yeah, my mind. Yeah, about that. They probably put that fat makeup on there. Uh-huh. Like, hey, people like Chet love fat people. They're gonna go see this guy. <laughs> and then he was like, "Listen, guys." And then later on, we'll say that you lost all this weight. <laughs> yeah, and people will love him, except for people who don't think you should lose weight. They'll hate them. Right. Yeah, I, that's the I thing. I love those people, too. I love them all. <sighs> I love people I love of them all, all shapes and sizes. You know? Big, this is, big small, short, move. tall. There's bullshit. All, come on, come yeah. on. You know what? And I'm not going to stand for any of this bullshit anymore. You know, you go to the doctor and they say, hey, you're obese. You should lose weight. No, that's fucking fat shaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking. Get I'm it. not having that, brother. No. I'm gonna go eat a yeah. bucket of fried chicken. And I'm not going. Show you. I'm not going to that fucking doctor. Fuck him. What does he know? Mm-hmm. Every time you go in, he's bitching about your weight, telling you to do this, do that. Your high cholesterol and how you're gonna die young and how it's stressful to your organs. Blah 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 blah. Fucking blah. Well, I'm just saying, if I go, to, you know, if I I haven't been to the doctor in several years, I should probably go to one but when i do mm-hmm. if this fucker tries to fat shame me i'm out of there yeah. telling me i need to lose weight telling me i need to fucking lower some bullshit yeah it's not like there's it's not like there's any kind of empirical evidence that my body as it is isn't in its best health you know it's not like there's any empirical evidence that these things are detrimental to my well-being so go fuck yourself exactly. doc and if there is evidence i mm-hmm. think it's probably fake yeah, fake news. Fake news, guys. Anyways, I'm just saying, Jonah Hill's great. If you're, whatever shape you're in, you're great. I support it. Don't let no fucking doctor fat shame you. That's fucking rude. You go in there for medical <laughs> advice and this guy's going to tell you to lose weight. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's not what I came what in I here came for. I came in here for. I came in here because my knees hurt and my back hurts. And I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just trying to give some advice on that. And I feel generally unwell yeah. a lot of the time. Winded. I'm quite winded. I have some gastrointestinal issues. That'd I don't be, really understand what that's be, about. Oof, tell you what. They're <laughs> like, Doc, we gotta do something. I don't know. You, you <laughs> stick that fucking thing up there with the camera. I don't know. What, 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 what do we got? What's going on? You know, my fucking... It can't be my weight. Oh, man. I, anytime I feel something in my gut, I get paranoid. My fucking cousin, he had a fucking uh, ulcer in his fucking stomach, and the fucking thing exploded. And uh, he's got a fucking... What? Yeah, and he's got a fucking gnarly ass. They cut him open, his stomach, like from the stomach to the chest. So he's got this fucking uh, staple. Fucking. Do ulcers explode? That's, I don't know. I haven't spoken to him yet, so I don't vaguely know what the, the deal is. He had an ulcer, something, a, a hole opened up, 
where is uh around his stomach and intestine area and all the shit leaked out or whatever so anyways he got all fucked up Ugh, so now Jesus. anytime i feel something in my stomach or my guts i'm getting all paranoid i'm like this fucker's thing just blew up or ripped open or the fuck however it happened Oh my god, I'm paranoid, I'm paranoid. now. You well, he's me. my cousin. I'm related to him. I well, I have ulcer issues. <laughs> You've had an ulcer before. Yeah, and now oh, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die as a oh result. My god, I didn't know you had an ul- I didn't know you had a history of ulcers. You gotta let me know these things. Mm-hmm. I would have brought it up. Um, yeah, shit. But anyways, I'm triggered. You got fucked up. Yeah, I know that now. <laughs> But I'm really but worried I'm like now. Worried. Like I should see a doctor. The about last this. thing I sent him was I was made a joke. I was like, oh, hey. he's. I was like, how you doing? He's like, okay. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, how are you? He's like, I was like, I'm doing all right. But now you have me all fucking freaked out. Whenever I feel something in my stomach, I think I'm gonna fucking die. And then he never sent anything back because he's like, well, why do I make this? About Yikes! You? I'm the one in the hospital. Yeah, he's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, this is my problem. <laughs> but I'm gonna say he's like a real piece of work. My thing. He's like. He's like, I don't know, he's like five months, four months older than me, and our dads are identical twins. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say he's like five. I'm just saying we share a lot of DNA. I'm saying our dads are identical twins. Oh, shit. So we got the same DNA from them, pretty much. Um, All right. And Listen, he's like four guys, months older than me. I'm me just saying. and Chet both. Go on. I'm just saying my shit might explode, and I'm I'm having problems with it right now. But that may have added to my anxiety with shitting because I was feeling all these feelings in my stomach. I'm like, what if this fucking thing explodes? And then I'm fucking, I got, I got to go to the hospital. They got to cut me open. <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys. So listen, <laughs> Chet and I both are at an extreme risk of having an ulcer explode and needing to be hospitalized. So if, if anyone on earth needs your donations, it's us. Um, we're gonna set up a Patreon. (laughs) This is such an enthusiastic sales pitch. (laughs) Help cover our medical bills after our ulcers explode. I. Um. Yeah, I don't have insurance, guys. So listen, if you want me to continue doing this podcast, if I happen to have an unfortunate incident where my fucking stomach explodes, I'm probably fucked. Put up or shut up. Put up or shut up. You, uh, listen, if you give us anything, um, we'll give you a hand job. Fucking tenfold in return. <laughs> Don't promise I'm not, that. I'm not, com- I'm not committed to that. I'm I not mean, committed to tenfold t- in return. Listen, I will give you a hand job, and that is all. Unless it's really generous, then maybe a blowy. I didn't mean tenfold in monetary value, but I, <laughs> I mean. I, I can't commit to tenfold well, really, anything, wait, wait, wait. Chet. Anything. <laughs> what is what is a hand job? Is that is that not tenfold? What is that? Five? I am thinking five like times about one and a that? half max. I mean, are they that good? I always assumed they were not. <laughs> I mean, it, de- it depends. <laughs> depends. On... <laughs> it's like it's, it's like oh cool doing. oh cool I'm getting to fool around with this girl. We're getting naked. I'm gonna go. You gonna put my dick in her? Nope. She's gonna give me a hand job, which I could have done myself. Better. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks for nothing, God. You know, you, <laughs> this is bullshit. You really. You know. <laughs> I never really thought about it in those terms. Well, here's the thing. I've never been in a situation where the only thing I received was a hand job. Oh yeah, I was talking just Sorry, a hand I, job, I, my friend. I can't. I can't. I've. Ha- I mean, foreplay. A hand job as part of a bigger. Uh, package. Oh yeah, that's great. I can, I can understand that. Okay, now I'm starting to get where you're coming from. I've never, I didn't know this was a, a thing. I didn't know people just doled out hand jobs. Well, I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming, it, like you know, like when a girl hasn't really gone all the way before and she's sort of starting fooling around with a guy, like that's a common first step. Yeah. Or like if you're well, with somebody I, but you're not really into it, but you feel like you should give them something, hand job. Yeah. Well, if someone would have touched me in like middle school or high school, maybe <laughs> I've only only had sexual relations as an adult. So, <laughs> so once you get to that point, they, yeah, the hand jobs really are. Yeah, they're pretty much. I over mean, that by would then. just seem that seem unbecoming of a woman. I think <laughs> <laughs> merely a hand job. Oh, I would feel. I would make me feel uncomfortable. I don't know. I'd be like, I don't listen. That's not necessary. What's if if I this mean, is how it's gonna be? I'll do this myself. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's I don't. I feel like well, I was gonna go way too into never mind. No, please. Um, no, I just. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> no, um. I would feel bad. I'd feel like your your arm would get tired. I feel like it'd be uncomfortable. I just it, It's not a good. Don't do that. <laughs> don't give hand jobs. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about the guy. Don't accept a hand job. Oh, don't, got it. don't. Yeah, it's like this really blows my mind. I never thought about. It. I never knew people just gave hand jobs. Yeah, I mean, I don't this think makes it's super sense, common. Though. This makes total sense. But that meant, oh, I get it. I get it now. I'm now putting myself into that that headspace. I get it. You would definitely like if you're with a guy and like I kind of like him. This guy fucking wants something. I'll just fucking jerk him. I'm not gonna fucking put that thing in my mouth. I yeah. don't fucking like him that much. Yeah. Or whatever. You're like thinking, just let me jerk this out and get the fuck on. Yep. Maybe you know, maybe maybe mid jerk you're like, okay, I I kind of like him. Maybe I'll go further. Maybe not. Maybe you know, it gives you some time, some breathing room. Yeah, right? a little bit. Start it out manually and see if you want to take it any further. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I get. I don't know. Ugh. Or like when I very Total first, thing. or when I'm really a person with very jobs. first. I, don't know. I got a problem. <laughs> Very first starts fooling around. Okay, I'm sorry. The idea of a blowjob is, like, terrifying when you've never given one before, let alone interacted with a live penis. So you start Well, slow. no, I get it now. I get it. I get that. I understand that. I never... <laughs> and especially if it's if it's sizable. Like, it's like, am I going to fit all that in my mouth? Am I expected to fit all that in my mouth? <laughs> I didn't know that was ever an expectation. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't know. I hadn't done any research. I was like, I, uh, okay. all blowjobs are deep throating, right? That was my understanding, and I was like, I can't, I can't fit the whole thing yes. in there. That's huge. <laughs> oof. Yeah, that's, I would have had that. Mm. I've, oof. I would have that anxiety if I sucked cock. Yeah. And later on, you know, I figured out there are ways around that, and it doesn't always have to be deep throating. But mm. at the time, I just I saw the cock, and I was like, we're just gonna stick to the hand on this one. <laughs> That makes I this makes sense. Yeah. This makes sense. I Props get it. to you I if you're it. listening, I, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just Sorry, told the I'm whole world that that here. person had a big dick, so. Well, I mean, you didn't name drop. I mean, no, but knows. he knows who he is. <laughs> but I mean, but then does he know that he has a big, a big old I don't know. hog? I think oh. I think I, I, I guess, <laughs> at the time I hadn't really seen many others, so I like I was pretty sure it was big for average, but I didn't really know. So I like, asked him. <laughs> I was like, "Are you bigger than the average man?" <laughs> Wait a minute. What was his response? Um, he cut. He like he took a second because he was like, "Uh, I I I think I probably am." Like he was very modest about it. It was very nice. <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cool. Like, it just seems really big, but I guess I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, um, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry if you didn't want to know that about him, but <laughs> now you do. Oh, no. I mean, here, I, I can, I can usually, I can usually tell if a guy's pack and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can gauge that. I can usually gauge. I guess if, you guys um, were no, in I somewhat I'm intimate of a setting, so I've um I've never seen like an outrageous I well, I take that back. I did one time see an outrage an outrageously large penis. Go on. I've seen penises before, you know, you're you're in a locker room or you're with people and you're fucking hey, what's fucking uh go streak or something, you see some dick flopping. <laughs> but one time I did see a guy with a sizable a penis that kind of made me take a double take. I will say. Yeah. He was not to be stereotypical. I think this was just merely coincidence that he was African American. I don't um, think it was. <laughs> and he made, and I don't, the, the thing was not erect. It was, it was soft. So here's the thing. Here's, it was, if, if when it got hard, it got bigger, damn, then it was mind blowing to Wolf. me. Yeah. But if it stayed at the same size, we're in its soft condition. Yeah. Then it would be like not that amazing. Yeah, still impressive, but, I've never but seen... not startling. Right. Yeah. But I had just never seen a soft penis that was that large. Which yeah, that's was crazy. A shocking thing to me. I was like, I was like, wow. I was like that. Uh, that thing's flopping around, and that is still a rather sizable <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> a I was like, what? I was like, is that? 
are those your knees? I was like, that's, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it was just, but it was also, it was kind of a sad, it was kind of a sad affair. I, this kid was at, we were at a party. He brought these two sad girls with him. And he was involved with both of them. It's very depressing. Woof. The girl, they seemed like they were in a bad, those girls seemed like they are in a bad situation. Yeah, bitches, so, listen, get some dignity, okay? Fuck that shit. Yeah. Like, blatantly, it wasn't like, oh, I just brought two girls with me and I'm friends with them. It was like, these two chicks are like my girls and they're like catering towards me and opening my fucking drinks for me. Yeah. And I'm like, this is really <sighs> odd. And then I seen his penis and I was like, well, okay, I, I guess I can understand maybe <laughs> I can get why, why maybe why this is an option for you. I mean, they weren't necessarily the most attractive women, but still they were, you know, if you're a numbers guy, you had two of them. Yeah. Um, but it was kind of a sad, it was kind of sad. But then I seen his penis and I was like, whoa, that's, I didn't say anything. I just kind of looked at it. And my friend Steve, who I was with, like made an audible, like, oh my God. And it was like slapping me on the back and like, point at it. And I was like, that's I hilarious. I seen it. I seen his dick. I wasn't that, in, that shocked with it. I want to be friends with your friend Steve. <laughs> oh my God. He, uh. I haven't spoken to him in a couple years. He's a character. Um, That's hilarious. But he's like, oh my God. He goes, oh my God, Cheddar. And he's slapping me. <laughs> and he called me. He, that's I hate God. that. And he's slapping, slapping me on the back. And I was just, he's pointing at it. I was like, don't point at it. I was <laughs> yeah, like, you're right being there. rude. That's, that's rude. <laughs> I was like, I seen it. <laughs> I told Steve, I was like, you know, if it stays that same size when it's hard, it's not that impressive. Yeah. And he's like, I bet it gets bigger. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. We can ask. Um, <laughs> Listen, are you a grower or a shower? A grower, shower, or what's the deal here? Because we have shower, questions. I'm not that. I'm not that intimidated. But if that thing grows, then I'm. Uh, I'm a little man. There's a whole different. There's a whole different uh, zone of of play in this field that I never knew existed. That's. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. I mean, I've seen it on film, but I didn't know if that's camera trickery or angles or camera trickery. What? That's the real, yeah, that's the real deal. I was like, here you, you have a future, but uh, eh, whatever. It was just one of the big dicks I've seen. The only big dick. All oh, the other dicks wait, I've what? seen have been. The only other dicks I've seen have been uh, just regular dick. Yeah, average proportions. Yeah. I would say average dicks. Um, I, I mean, I've seen a couple guys that had like smaller than average dicks mm -hmm. um but then i was like maybe that's just how it is maybe it grows um i didn't cast any uh i don't know negative that's nice thoughts of you. towards them i was just I was like oh it's a smaller penis yeah anyways um man we covered dick we covered space space what else we covered maniacs. We covered Dwayne the Rock Johnson rubbing produce on his anus. Can you believe? Can you believe that the Rock sticking fucking cantaloupes up his ass at you the giant food store? You heard it here. Store. You heard it here. That's folks. the other thing you gotta think about. It's the giant food store. Does that mean these vegetables are larger than normal? Right. Why is hmm. it called the giant food store? Hmm. Is the food giant or is the store giant? Fuck you, English. I think it's the food. Yeah, I hope the so. The giant food store. I hope so. It's not the giant store. The giant oh, store of food. food. It's right, the it's the giant food, food store. store. Yeah, I'm with you. Damn. What well, else damn. is on the... I gotta be... I gotta skip out of here because I got. I have a mo I have a fucking commitment with another man. Yeah, starting six minutes ago. To. I'm gonna be... It's at 9.30. Wait. Oh, wait. I thought you said nine. Never mind. Well, I mean, I'm at nine. I probably have to... Because I gotta drive to the fucking... To the deal. Ah, uh, to um, the deal. Give me some time. What else? What do we What do we got? Anything else we want to cram in here before we go? <laughs> Find a dime for every time I heard yeah, that. You know. Um. No, I'm good for cramming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, we got you know we got some other had some other shit on the docket, but we'll talk about that next week. Yeah. I just want to say praise all that is right in the world. We put Bill Cosby into prison today. Um. What else did we do? Damn. We, uh, well, you went to prison. He's a raper. Right. I just, I didn't know that that happened. Oh, yeah. Three today. to ten years. I mean, he's old, so he'll probably fucking die. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, today. Got sentenced. What else do I want to say? Fuck Bill. Um, what else? Oh, I keep forgetting Burt Reynolds died, like, fucking five years ago now. 
<laughs> R.I.P. Burt Reynolds. R.I.P. Um, you ever seen Cop and a Half? No. No. Okay, Burt Reynolds is a cop, and there's this little black kid who witnesses the mafia do something. They kill some fucking, I don't know, this little black kid sees it. And then now Burt, this old grumpy white cop, mm-hmm. and now has to fucking take care of this little wisecracking black kid. I oh, thought it no. was hilarious <laughs> when I was like a dumb little shit, like six or seven years old. Yeah. Um, probably a terrible movie. I'm sure Burt was very ashamed of it. But it's a, it's a favorite of mine as a kid. I think it probably came out in the mid-90s. I don't know. Check Yo. that out. Cop and a Half. I believe that's the title. Cop and, Cop a, and half. a Half. Um, what else? He did Boogie Nights. You ever seen Boogie Nights? No, but I've at least heard of Boogie Nights. Oh, dude, you should see Boogie Nights. That's a good movie. I bet it is. I'm open-minded. That porn star. That porn has star? Has a big dick. Yeah, has a big dick at the end of it. Um, oh, I love big dicks. Yeah, as I say, if you're into that... It does have a big dick at the very end. You gotta watch the whole movie. And then you get a big dick. And then you find out it's a prosthetic dick because Mark Whoa. Wahlberg really doesn't have a big dick. Or he didn't want to show his dick. He probably doesn't have a really big dick because most people don't. But, <laughs> I mean, a large dick. It might have been a foot long. I don't know what the fuck. This, the, the, guy, the, movie's based, the guy it's based on had like a foot long dick. I don't know if it was a $5 foot long or what it was. But, That's crazy. Um, Based on true events. Anyways, you got Boogie Nights. I don't know what other Burt Reynolds movies you have. Smokey and the Bandit, of course. All that bullshit. Go watch that shit for Burt. He died like eight weeks ago. It's not relevant anymore. We don't care. But, but we're going to talk about it bless anyway. His heart. So we are. What else? That's it. Go to fucking Facebook. Hit the like. Hit the share. Tell everyone about it. You tell us what you want us to fucking talk about. We'll talk about some shit. Um... Go to the Instagram. You, I put the pictures up. You hit the like. They're beautiful. You go, <laughs> guess what? You got a fucking iTunes link right there. You hit that. You go listen to the podcast. Guess what? You share that. You like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, you like it, you bitch. You got YouTube. You like it. Um, <laughs> Instagram, iTunes, fucking Twitter, Two in the Bush Pod. Uh, two in the Bush Pod at gmail.com. That's the number two on the email. You remember yeah. that number two? Fucking yeah. go there um that's what you gotta do man anyways yeah, hit us up ne- i trust trust me next week i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna drink more than a beer we're gonna have about six of these i'm gonna fucking come on here we're gonna talk about some funny shit i don't wanna i'm just gonna tease you with what we got coming up we got shit about fucking those cisgendered motherfuckers you know who i'm talking about i'm mm-hmm. I, th- I believe i'm one of them um <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fucking crack pipes uh We'll don't promise I'm going to talk about all that shit. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just saying we may. I'm just. It's a tease. We're going to talk about Maniac. We're going to talk about fucking uh, what's going on in Maniac. We're going to talk about crack pipes. We're going to talk about. Uh, listen, well, I'm sure we'll talk about dicks. I'm sure we'll talk about people shitting. Um, Always. We're going to hit all all your favorite subjects. You're going to listen to Kelsey fucking drag on that vape. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to love it. All the base pleasures. It's That's be us. huge 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 um anyways see you next week see you next week motherfuckers